Let's talk about production values, eh? But before that, you're watching Days and Nights with Wei, and I'm with Wei. No, it's not short for anything. Sorry, I keep forgetting to introduce myself. Okay, back to it. Okay, where's the off button? I have to ask, how important is it for a show to have fancy effects and snazzy visual appeal? Is it really necessary for a show to have those kind of gimmicks? Now that I've been exploring the YouTubeosphere a little bit more, I've been seeing these fancy effects, and I'm really starting to wonder, is it really that necessary? I don't know whether it's actually a good thing or a bad thing, I'm just wondering. Like, I, I don't know why I'm acting so assertive right now. Also, why are you in a fridge? I don't have a green screen or a fancy backdrop or anything, so that's why you're in a microwave right now. Oh, that's better. Because, see, I don't want you to think of me as a show host. I'm just a guy. As opposed to a woman, I guess. So I've also been experimenting with space a little bit, at least in this video. I want you to feel like you can join me. Not in the bathroom, though. Yes, join me in the microwave. That sounds like fun. We can rotate together and be baked by waves. So, you know, here you are. You're sitting in a chair right here talking to me. We're just chilling, right? Yeah. Kind of ironic that you can see more of me than I can see of you. <coughs> Actually, that's not really ironic at all. Fuck. You're right. So, do you like fish? I, I don't really like fish. I mean, I think they're cool. I don't like eating fish. There's a uh, noche de... That was really weird. My head barely moved at all. It was like, BAM! Noche, noche, noche de baile tonight. Or, for those of you who have no Spanish skills whatsoever, a night of dance. So they're apparently going to be dancing salsa downstairs. So I guess I'll just go down there and... Mm, never mind. I was like the only guy there. No, I didn't dress up for it. I was wearing this because I was feeling hot. And warm. I was feeling warm. Besides which, I don't know how to salsa. Then why did you go down there in the first place? And you were never very good at that, either. Ooh, iceberg! Why am I being so mean to myself? If you think about the fact that we're both making fun of me together, this is kind of weird. Ooh. Go on, yawn. I know you want to. Just be glad you can't see what I see. In between every line, there's about two minutes of space where I don't know what to say, and I stare awkwardly off to the side. Also, I start talking about Gesso. Jesso is basically... In all honesty, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing that I'm here. What would Jesus do if he were bored? Oh, also, I always wonder if the girl next door thinks I'm weird talking to myself in here. I wonder if she's seen my videos. And now, a formal apology. Hey, um... I, I put up a video a while back where I said that I, I made the facetious comment about kicks. Um, that, that got a pretty big response out of people, I think. And um, I, I, I feel that it becomes necessary for me to apologize for what I said, but... but hear me out. I, I really think that my words were taken out of context in my own video. I edited, but I, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my fans, and I'm sorry to Kix. I love Kix. By the way, one person's working towards being awesome. Subscriber Regal Atrocity has made a fan page for her mom. Well, it's a group, but close enough. I'm waiting on you, floggers. I'm Wei, thanks for watching. Check in next time, and good night.